Hey, you guys, you have announcements this week, so it's nice to work. Right. Good work. Yeah. So this could be her again. The long hours and being here until six every night and scrambling to figure out a set and what all your pieces are and then, you know, freaking out because you don't get any sleep and then your group comes up with crazy ideas and you don't get a lot done. That's not so good. Um, there are good things though, like... They're all Everyone's losers. really nice. What? <laughs> Caitlin just comes up to me and tells me, you're doing the script. She doesn't really give me anything to go off of, anything more than that. Just like, it's you, you're writing it. And I, every week, every, well every four weeks when we do announcements, it's like, write me some jokes, make me laugh, write me a funny dance, monkey dance. They don't, they don't actually say monkey. Well, you know, I think that I motivate students primarily by example, and you know, I try to make sure that it's hard work ethic, and you know, as serious as we can be, it's a serious business. Uh, Filmmaking is not a joke, you know, it's something that we take very seriously here at the Vision. So, I think I think students see that, I think they get it. Sheer manliness is what I bring: drugs, violence, crime, guns. Anything that's cool, like blood, and look good on a camera, that's what I, that's what I bring. Not a big fan of like girly things, like the rest of my group, you know, like books or I don't know, romance, like crappy stuff like that. Who wants to see like two people kiss on a camera? I'd rather like slit someone's neck from behind than to see that. No big deal. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Should make someone else do it. Hey, I like your shirt. This one? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Today I have the smartest thing in the world. Okay, so personally, I think I have by far the best fashion in this group. And they never put me on camera. Never. I mean, even Liz gets on camera. Even Liz. Did you see her shirt yesterday? Ridiculous. Okay, so Town walks up to Caitlin and Dave. I would say the hardest working person in the group is probably Zach because he's always on the computer. I don't know what he's doing, but he's always working on something. What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Honestly, I make the weather up. That weather you hear, it's from the brain. You know why? Because it's way better than whatever they like, give me. I don't actually use what they give me. I can't stand anyone. Oh, oh, Luke, stop! That's what they tell us Friday. It's when Caitlin's slipping out out of her mind. I mean, it's ridiculous. Outrageous. Guys, what are you doing? Go on the air in 10 minutes. I want you reading the teleprompters, memorize the script, read the script, because really no, oh, you, you need to know what's one. going on. Hey, 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 Caitlin, look, look. All right, so there's, we can do this for our intro. There's two elephants, and one is married to a llama, Luke. and the other one Luke. is no, no, you don't understand. Okay, you could be the one with a married to Luke. the llama. You could be the Listen, llama. Man, it's okay. It's a good idea, really, really but uh, this, is, this is Friday. Like today is now. Like we can't do it. I'm, maybe the next next week. We're on today. Yeah. Are you kidding? Me? Ready in 10. Wait, we're not ready yet. What's nine, going on? You guys eight, can't go on the air. Seven, I thought you were You have to go on Guys, 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 I think I deleted our script. No, we're about to go on. We're live.